you can talk and talk and talk and talk and talk about how the Republicans are better for young people and all this, and we just go on and on and on and on, blah, blah, blah. They don't listen to us and they don't care and they hate us, as you say. But when you did your poster of Ted Cruz, I thought, that, well, picture's worth a thousand words. There's a couple million words right there. Ted Cruz, as a smoking, tatted out gang leader, it went right to the point. This guy is the rebel. He's not, he's not the square. He's the rebel. He's trying to set you free from this establishment that's controlled you your whole lives. Yeah, I'm happy that he ran with it. Uh, it was a brutal election. Uh, I met him and his crew. Uh, every time, not that it happened very often, but uh, I would leave uh, fr from, from meeting these people. I always wanted to be a better person. I didn't walk away from Ted Cruz and his people feeling like I was just around a bunch of slimy politicians. And, but you know, the thing about uh, Mr. Cruz is I don't think he, he was able to hold on to it the whole way. I, you know, he's a Texas politician. I think at the end of his run, he was kind of reverting back to the old uh, preacher politician thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I was hearing, I was hearing talk of his people trying to move him away from that whole rebel thing or something. And I was like, no, Ted, that's why we love you. That's why we want you. That's what we need. And I just hope he learns something from it because I think he's a good man. And, you know, I, I hope we see him in the future. I completely agree. I think he's a great man, too. Um, so that's that's really the, the, the trick, isn't it, is to is to convince society, especially young people, that they are the establishment. They voted for the establishment. There's nothing rebellious about voting for Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders for that matter. They are the establishment. And it should be very easy to flip people because every single teenager that was ever born on this earth at some point wants to rebel against the system. That's what teenagers do. Yeah, it is. I mean, I've always questioned, uh, you know, I don't have a problem with an establishment if the establishment works. Uh, you, you know, you've got a question the, the quality of that establishment. I, I mean, look at the Democrats. What do they want? You, what do they want from you? They want you to be dependent on them. Um, how many educated people? I, I mean, you look at any Democrat run city. It's pretty much a ghetto. Uh, why would you want that? They but, want that. They want that because they 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 can see that occasionally, but they're convinced. Okay, incompetence is better than evil, and the Republicans are evil. Therefore, and they've been told that decade after decade. It's a, I truly believe we have every piece required in order to start re-educating these kids, or at least showing them what what's real. It's just a matter of having the people to do it. And uh, I'm starting to see a wave of people. You know, you got Crowder, you've got mm -hmm. Paul Joseph Watson, you've got yourself, you got Stephen uh, Molyneux, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you, ben you Shapiro start, and Clayton yeah, yeah, and all Shapiro, the rest. Shapiro, all these people, they're trying. Uh, I don't know, slowly but surely. I'm waiting for the ass, like the serious, like ass kickers, to come in and say, "Hey, stupid kid." Uh, you, you know, uh, I honestly believe we have all the pieces that we need to start convincing these people of who the Democrats are. We just need good, spicy, creative ways uh, of doing that.